the Embassy of the Blessed Kingdom of God for all nations. The Embassy of the Blessed Kingdom of God for all nations is the largest evangelical church in all of Europe. Located in Kyiv, Ukraine, the church in its nine years of existence has seen more than one million people accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. There are more than 20,000 members who regularly attend the church services. The social work of the Embassy of God is accepted by the Ukrainian government. During the next 30 minutes, you have the opportunity to encounter the living God. We believe this program will help you to develop your relationship with Him. Jesus forgives every sin, sets people free from addictions, heals every sickness, brings harmony to your family and prosperity to your business. Only God can bring a real solution to the situation you are in and give the answer to your every question. He can help you to fulfill the calling and destiny that is waiting for you. You are welcome to visit the Embassy of God webpage at www.godembassy.org or write us at tv at godembassy.org. You're watching the Embassy of God program. You're watching the Embassy of God program. I want to preach on the topic, Influential Church. Who knows that our church is influential? Our church is beautiful, our church is influential. I want once again to remind ourselves what it is to be influential, what it is an influential church. Let's open up the Bible at Ezekiel 47. First verse. The man brought me back to the entrance of the temple, and I saw water coming out from under the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the temple faced east. The water was coming down from under the south side of the temple, south of the altar. He then brought me out and north gate he then brought me out through the north gate and led me around the outside to the outer gate facing east and the water was flowing from the south side as the man went eastward with a measuring line in his hand he measured off a thousand cubits and then he led me through water that was ankle deep he measured off another thousand cubits and led me through water that was knee deep. He measured off another thousand and led me through water that was up to the waist. He measured off another thousand, but now it was a river that I could not cross because the water had risen and was deep enough to swim in, a river that no one could cross. He asked me, Son of man, do you see this? Then he led me back to the bank of the river. When I arrived there, I saw a great number of trees on each side of the river. He said to me, this water flows toward the eastern region and goes down into the Ereba where it enters the sea. When it empties into the sea, the water there becomes fresh. Swarms of living creatures will live wherever the river flows. There will be large numbers of fish because this water flows there and makes the salt water fresh. So where the river flows, everything will live. Where this river flows, everything will flourish once again. Where the river flows, everything will live. The topic for today will be Influential Church. You've heard and you've read 
in the Bible about some type of water, about a river, about a stream. But where did this stream start from? Where does this water come from? What is the source of this water? The source is the church, a beginning, a source. We are speaking about supernatural water, healing, magical water, you can say. Waters which revitalizes everything it touches. The source is the church. The source is us gathered together. Something is born. Waters start flowing when we are gathered together. When we set ourselves apart for God, when we set ourselves apart for God, when we set aside space for God, when we say this place will be called the church, when we say our life will be called the church, when we separate ourselves for God, when we let God summon us together, something is exuded, something is born. Because when God meets man, a power is born. A stream is born. Waters of life start flowing throughout the globe. But the water flowing throughout the globe is not the most important, the, not the most impressive news. The most impressive and important news are wherever this water flows, wherever our unity with God goes, wherever our unity with God goes, wherever our engagement with God goes, wherever goes everything we do in the name of God, everything we do by the faith in Jesus Christ, wherever goes, wherever goes everything we do in obedience to God, everything will be alive there. We bring life. We bring lives. We bring lives and lives are born when we separate ourselves for God, when we dedicate ourselves to God, when we say, I'm a vessel, I'm a vessel, I am a godly vessel, a godly vessel. Church is the source. Church dedicates, church dictates what will be. Church has power. Church has the power and authority. And when we permit a river of the Holy Spirit, a product of our communication with God, a result of our relationship with God, when we allow all this to come out, when it finds a passage, a way into the world, outside of the church, it will grow and grow and grow and grow and it will bring much use than when we keep everything to ourselves. We are in this church because we are a missionary church. If we know that the church is hands of God, the body of Christ in the world. We know that the church is not a mere group. Cheer is not a simple church is not a simple club. It is a God's club. We know that in the church God raises its army of latter days. There is power in the church. There is might in the church. There is authority in the church. God always tries to tie. God always tries to tie everything He does on earth with church. Yes, we know that the kingdom of God is not a church. A church is the conductor of the kingdom of God. Church is too little to be the kingdom of God. You are watching the Embassy of God program. The church is an instrument. 
It's like the headquarters, but it is not all of the kingdom of God. That's why we build relationships with other church. That's why we build relationships with other churches. That's why we evangelize. That's why we do missionary work. Because the whole world, physical and spiritual, is God's. We need to spread the kingdom of God all over the earth. Amen? Church is a reign of God in this world. Church is the source of everything God does on earth. God will speak to his prophets and in everything he wants to do on this planet, the church plays an integral part in redemptive work, in healing work, everything he wants to do, he searches for a church that would believe in him, a church that will move in obedience, which will declare, yes, Lord, if you say so, we will show your glory to this world. I read again the first verse, part two. And I saw water coming out from under the threshold. And I saw water coming out from under the threshold of the temple toward the east. The water was coming out of the temple and was naturally flowing towards the east because so was the temple position towards east. What, what can we learn from this today? A church will always influence, the church will always influence things it pays attention to. The temple was facing east and the source and water from it went towards east. The church will always be influencing the things it pays attention to. For instance, today we are looking at the campaign for legalization of drugs and the water of the Holy Spirit, actions of the Holy Spirit, will be directed against this campaign through us. Everything else, whether we are looking at the future or success in business or missionary work, all these, if we embrace them, there is a might of God. There is enough strength of God, the river of the living waters flowing in them and together with us embraces those things wherever we look we, wherever we wherever we look wherever we pay our attention to we will influence if we want to have better situations in school if we want to have better situations in school god's river and the church will go there and everything will live if we direct our attention against drugs god's river and the church looks at them and in a place of death life will flourish everything we can grasp everything we have enough faith for whatever we are looking at whatever we are looking at the river of the living god will flow there we are not limited in god we are not limited in god we shouldn't be limiting our thinking we shouldn't limit our minds I'm only interested in this or that. I'm not interested in anything else. No, no, no and no. God gives us faith. God gives us an extent of faith. But when we start to utilize our faith, God multiplies our faith. Even if our faith is small, small faith can accomplish a lot. Small faith can accomplish a lot. I believe that the faith I have today and the faith that we and the faith that you have today, I believe that the faith I have today and the faith you have today are sufficient to do much more than what we have. It is a river. God represents the church. God sees the church this way. If God drew a picture of the church today, there would also be a stream flowing from it. God sees a church. God sees the church and what flows out of it. God's picture of the church 
is that a stream of water, a river flows out of it. This is how God sees the church. This is how He describes the church. God show me how He wants to see things. When the service is over, we're going out. It already looks like a stream, like a river. And wherever we go, we'll bring life there. Healing. We'll bring life there. We'll bring healing there. God's life. There must be a constant stream flowing out of the church. Encouragement. Solutions for the problems of the society we live in. Amen? You live and learn from those things you live with. You live and learn from those you live with, right? The temple was facing towards the east. And first of all, the water began flowing towards the east. We must have a burden. We must have a burden for everything that is not by the will of God. We cannot be saying, no, this is not my problem. This is not for me. God can do. God cannot do this. God cannot accomplish this. No, our faith is to watch and act, to speak a prophetic word. Our duty is to speak what God wants to, us to do, and He will accomplish it. We don't create a river. God has already created it. The whole church is a source of this living water. It is not me. I didn't create myself. God inputted it into me, a river of living waters. I don't have to create it. Instead, he says it must flow out of me. A river is already there, but I must let it flow. If I'm in the church, I must allow this river to flow from the church. A river are the deeds of God. The river are the deeds of God. The river of living waters are the deeds of God. A healing that God accomplishes through me are his deeds. Encouragement God expresses through me are his deeds. But I must do something. I must lay hands on the sick. I cannot be fearful. I cannot say I won't happen. I cannot say it won't happen. I cannot say, oh, cancer is such a disease. My task is to lay hands by faith with all my strength, with all my heart. As the primary commandment says, love your God with all your heart. And when I'm praying, I must do it with all of my heart, with all of my power. And then God will do His work. When I encourage someone, I must be doing it with all of my heart, with all of my strength. Words are just words. But when I say them in humility, in obedience, my words do unbelievable things, unbelievable influences. The influential church, the influential Christian, God has created not for only Himself. He has created us to influence everything that surrounds us. Amen? Amen. Amen. Thus, water coming out from under the threshold. Thus, water coming out from under the threshold of the temple. The waters and the river also symbolizes the Word of God. Waters are, are the Word of God. The Word of God. A spoken, a spoken word of God must constantly from out from the church. The water must constantly from out. The water must constantly flow out from the church. We must constantly pronounce the word of God, not only in the temple, but also outside the temple. Wherever we go, at home, at work, wherever we go, we may not say whatever we want. We must speak what complies with the Word of God. There must be no shortage of the Word of God. An influential church, an influential church has no shortage of the Word of God. There is a will of God regarding all issues and questions, all things, clearly, strictly what God thinks.
He expects us. He expects from our personal lives, from our relationships with other people, at work, in the ministry, the Word, when it flows, the Word, when it flows, the will of God is a revelation of God. An influential church has no shortage of the Word of God. The Word of God nourishes the church and it flows out from under the church. Later we will see why the river must flow out, why the Word must be released, why it is not enough to only have the Word. But we must let the word, the river, flow out of us. Our church must be a liquid church. In a good sense of the word, it must flow. It must be a flowing church, a life-giving church, influential church, as a river. You're watching the Embassy of God program.
моя узнает Бог на небесах. А я радуюсь, что по веки буду с ним я. Thank you for being with us today. You have been watching a program from the Embassy of the Blessed Kingdom of God for all nations in Kyiv, Ukraine. If you want to become a part of God's growing movement in Ukraine, then we suggest you do the following. First, come and visit the main events of the Embassy of God, our yearly nationwide anniversary conference, our summer and winter pastors fasts, which are visited by over 1,000 pastors and ministers from all around the world. Our pastors and leaders seminars that are held by Pastor Sunday twice a year. Our annual men's conference. Our monthly anointing service for all Embassy of God churches in Kiev on the first Sunday of each month. And also our annual March of Life on the main street of Kiev which had about 50,000 believers in the year 2003. Second, we suggest that you come to Kyiv at any time and visit church services every Sunday and Thursday, topical night prayers, a different theme every night, general night prayers every Friday night, homeless shelter and clinic open every day, Rehabilitation Center for Alcoholic and Drug Addicts where over 2,000 people have been freed from addictions during its existence, open every day. Also, you can visit any of over 200 ministries of the Embassy. Third, you can come to the Embassy of God and participate in God's work in Kyiv, Ukraine as a missionary. Fourth, you can come to Kyiv and attend the nine-month Bible school program at Joshua Missionary Bible Institute, where you will learn from leading ministers of the Embassy of God. Fifth, if it is in your heart, you can become a financial partner of God's work here and through this, release the anointing and blessing of the Embassy of God upon your life. Sixth, you can purchase a wide variety of audio and video cassettes CDs and books by Apostle Sunday Adelaja and other pastors of the Embassy of God. Seventh, you can get all this and other information at our website www.godembassy.org. You've been watching the Embassy of God program from Kiev, Ukraine.